These are five Adobe XD plugins that save me time every single day. They help me as a designer to work smarter, not harder, and I'm gonna show them to you right now. All right, before we get into the plugins, make sure that you like, subscribe to this channel, hit that little bell notification icon so you know when another Adobe XD video like this one comes out. Let's jump into Adobe XD and start breaking down some of my favorite plugins. The first one is all about creating charts. I have a chart here, and even this one simple line graph chart can take a lot of time because you have to what, maybe pen tool all of those points and then create it the exact way you want it. Uh, it's a lot of work to make charts and that's why I really love the plugin that's just called Chart. You can hit Chart uh, and then drop it down and there's a couple options, but let's start with creating a chart. And when we do that, we get our chart interface. But let's start here with our normal line chart. I'm gonna keep it at random. We could make a table or even bring in real data, like real JSON data. And let's choose the number of lines. We want three lines to kind of swoop out. And let's do uh, 12 points for each one of those. And let's randomize or let's, yeah, let's mix these up because we can make it trend up, down, whatever. Lots of different options, but we create that chart. And look at that, we have a beautiful chart that has all sorts of complex data. That is the chart plugin. All right, the second and the third plugin for the day both have to do with color, but the first one is about generating palettes and gradients and exploring and finding all the different colors you might need. And that one is called Dopely Colors. I'm gonna go down here to Dopely Colors, which I have installed. And when you twirl it open, I'm just gonna hit the Dopely Colors selection. From here, we can actually search for color palettes, but a whole lot more. We can also search for colors, brand palettes, like we can see the palette for Google or Apple or even Bob the Builder. You find one you love, you just have to click on it and it adds it to your project. The third plugin we talked about also has to do with color. I'm going to open my plugins back up and go back. And this one is called Color Scale. It does something really simple, but it does it really fast. It creates a scale of colors based off of one color. I'm gonna hit A for artboard actually, and I'm gonna drag a color that I love into this artboard. Like for instance, maybe this green cascade color. I really want some neutral versions of this, things that I could use in an interface. I wanna explore a little bit. So I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna open up color scale. When I open that up, it shows me that base color and I can choose to a white color. Do I wanna scale it to black? Complimentary or random, let's go to white and then let's set the length of it. 10 is fine for me and we're gonna include the end color. Let's create and immediately what it does is it creates this beautiful scale of colors that goes all the way to white. And so now when we're creating an interface, we have our base color here, we have white right here. Maybe this is a really nice neutral color that we could use and we can use any of these hues and variations of the color. That's what color scale does. It's simple, but it's effective. The next plugin that I absolutely love is all about adding some animated files inside of it. You probably know this name if you do any UI design or UX design, and that is Lottie. Let's say we wanted to add maybe like a Lottie animation animation to this card. I could come into the Lottie Files plugin just like this. I can open it up and it's gonna allow me to search. Let's do uh, a search for crypto in here and see what Lottie gives us. These are all gonna be in SVG format. I love this little one right here and this Bitcoin one. So why don't we drag this in and maybe just pop it up in the right hand corner. And now when we select our prototype and press play, we're gonna get this cool Lottie animation. Thousands and thousands of free Lotties. You can sign into your account and get your Lottie animations and drop those directly into your Adobe XD file. It's like, like mind blowing that we can now integrate Lottie right into XD. So Lottie animations are great, but maybe you're not using those as much in your project, but what you may wanna do pretty much all the time is scale things, items, or groups of items up and down, and Adobe XD doesn't really have that ability right now. So the next plugin helps us do that, and it's called Transform Session. I'm going to zoom in on an element, and I'm gonna grab this element. This element is a card, it has multiple layers inside, avatars, text, and I wanna, you know, size down everything individually. So I'm gonna open up Transform Session. I'm gonna open up the Transform Panel, and you can see here I'm able to scale the appearance and choose a percentage. Maybe I just want it to come down 75%. I'm gonna hit the big blue Start Transform Session, and it brings the whole thing down by 75%. And if that looks good to me, I'm done. But from there, we can continue 
transforming things up or down and just scaling things, right? So I know that sounds like a real simple one, but I love it. I use it all the time. And those are five of my most helpful time-saving plugins inside of Adobe XD. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and XD just like this one. So stick around for future videos. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments. Check the description down below for some helpful links to these plugins and other resources that'll help you in Adobe XD. I hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things, making amazing things, and finding things that save you time. We'll see you in the next one.